All right, what's poppin', man? You already know your boy, Mr. J. Hill. We in the building. Uh, this is a conversation, you know, reporting live from District 30, uh, Cash Line, Baltimore. You know, shout out to my guy, John. Uh, come fuck with us. You already know. Um, I'm here with my guy, True. You can fix the mic if you want to, bro. You can make, make get comfortable, John. dog. Yeah, yeah, What's yeah, up, yeah. What you, babe? What's up, man? How you feeling, Ooh, dog? Chilling. How you doing? I'm good. Man. I can't complain. I'm blessed. Uh, I told you we'll have a little conversation. You said you want to do a freestyle. I'm like, yo, let's let's throw an interview in there. Why not? Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Let's uh, it up a little bit. Yeah. Alrighty. So, uh, let me know first of all, foremost, to the to my crowd, everybody that don't know you, where you from? From Brooklyn Homes Project, South Side in the building. You heard me? Alrighty. So tell me how how was it growing up in, in the projects? I mean, like. It was hard for real, you feel me? Living in a house, hella his, me, my mother, my aunt, all my cousins, you know, both of my my aunt and my mother both had six kids. So that's Damn. 12 off the rip Sheesh. for real, you feel me? You know, shit got tight, you feel me? Shit was hard for real, like you made a way, you feel me? So having 12 kids, like, was y'all all close to each other or? Yeah, it? hell yeah, you feel me? Like, you know, it's me, it was me, it's me, my sister, and my brother, you feel me? On my mother's side, then is my cousin, his two little brothers. You find we the oldest, the oldest six. Then as the years went on, like they had us, they was having us all back to back. You okay. Know what I'm so like we all like close in age and all that. So yeah, like we real. Close. So y'all y'all still hang together now for real? Hell yeah, we locked in, click tight. Damn, that's that's kind of cool. Like, is everybody doing music or everybody doing separate things? How does that work? I mean, like. We all doing different things. Like I got a little brother, he wanna be a chef. Mm. Fam, I got a little cousin, he's smart as shit. I don't know what he wanna do. Fam, I got another little cousin, my little cousin Rashad, like his work ethic, his shit just out this world. Like, you feel me? Like we all just you feel me? Like, right. talented, like spread it out, different things. You, know I mean? you ever thought about like um investing in something and making like a family business? Hell yeah, my mother know how I cook for real. You feel me? She know how I cook her ass off. Like anybody that ever tasted her food, like Family, yeah, yeah, A1. Real, you know? <laughs> so like, like my dream, what I'm trying to do is, you feel me? I'm trying to invest into a property somewhere, somewhere downtown for real, you feel me? A little spot called Danielle's, that's her name for real, you mm -hmm. feel me? Get her a little spot called Danielle's, like that's what's in my mind for real. So I'm right towards that, you feel me? Damn man, um, so what, what, when did you get into making music? Um, I've been fucking with the music. I, uh, when I was in second grade for real, uh, my teacher told me for real. We had to write a little um a poem on a book, you feel me? We was reading called Night on the Sea for real, you feel me? So I asked her, could I make a rap? And she mm. said, Yeah, for real, you feel me? So how has it been going since like when did you I'm pretty sure you ain't take it as serious as you're taking it now. When did you start taking it serious? Like when was it a priority for you? Like twenty I shot my first video, I think it was twenty seventeen. Mm. Fuck was you mad for, you feel me? My first video. So it's going on four years now. Hell yeah. Okay. Years, how, how was it going though? Like, how, how what, what are some things you like and what's some things that you're not fucking with in the industry? Because I know the industry can be, it could be a bunch of weirdos in the industry. You know what I'm saying? I know I'm in the industry, Man, but. I don't really like, I don't really pay attention for real, like, to the negative. I try not mm. to pay attention to that for real. I just feel like, like, all I'm gonna say is, you got niggas really out here living this shit. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, we rapping this shit, the shit you hear me talk about on my son. The shit I've been through, you feel me? I ain't fabricating nothing, you feel me? We'll be living this shit, so it's like offensive because you got niggas out here that ain't. Mm. You probably with the nigga that's doing it, or you probably see it, but you ain't you ain't living it. You know right. what I'm saying? Like it's a whole difference, you feel me? It's like a little offensive because like if you living it, they just, they talk it's like about fabricated. It, you know? They they yeah, talking a like, bunch of you know lies. Like that's the only thing that bothers me, but I try not to let that get to me for real. So coming from the city, right? I'm from the city too. I grew up in the projects as well. So I, um, I grew up in McCullough Homes. So like. You know, at one point, at, at, at one time in your life, it's like you know we gotta put all the all the knucklehead shit behind us, right? And you say like everything you writing about you living. Do you think is a time when you know like I'm not I'm only gonna be rapping about what I used to do and not what I'm doing right now? Do you think that that's coming soon or you still just gotta do what you gotta do? Right now, still like we still without working. getting too much into it. Yeah, right now we still getting it out the mud, so that's what it's gonna be. Mm. Okay. That's what it's going to be until we get to them levels the way as though, you feel me, we can talk about other shit, what we trying to do to better our community mm. and shit like that for real, but until that time coming. So how does that, and, and I wanted to tie that into the music, right, because you know, a lot of times our favorite artists, they, they live in a different life, like, you know, Jay-Z used to talk about drugs and shit like that, and now we talking about his family, because that's, that's where he at now. Right. Uh, Lil Boosie used to talk about the shit he was doing, you know what I'm saying, but once you 
once you get in a different light, it's like you only can talk about what you're going through. Do you think that's going to affect your music the same way it, it affected the other music? Hell no, because I'm good at that for real. Like, I know how I put that shit. Like, I feel like that's when I make my best songs when I'm mm. mad. You feel me? I really like, like, that's my way. Like, I can, I'm versatile. I can give you a song about a bitch. I can talk my shit. You feel me? I can spit that pain. But me personally, I really like talking that shit. You can feel like, you know what I'm mm. saying? Like, that straight, like, damn, I, I know what you're talking about. I've been through that. You know right. What I'm I like rapping that kind of shit for real. Okay. Shit. As life, as a nigga, elevate and go up, that shit just gonna get better. Like, you feel me? I'm just gonna be able to head on more topics. You mm. feel me? Like, it, makes, it makes the music versatile at that point yeah. because now we got more things to talk about. We ain't, we ain't in the mud right now, but we've and, been through the mud. And how you really, yeah, you've been through the mud so you can reflect. Like, right. damn, I remember I was just, now I'm really. Facts. I fuck with it. I fuck with it. So what where do you see uh, the music the music going right now? Like in 2020 going into 21, uh where do you see your career going in, and what are some things that you're focused on? I see my shit going up for real, you fam. I got a lot of hard ass unreleased shit, you fam. I'm just working on my promo skills and my delivery as far as though how I drop my shit, you mm. feel me? You feel me? Shit like that for real. But like I see that shit going up. We going up. Yeah. What you working on right now? I got a lot of shit for real. It's like, I'm doing this little EP for real. You feel me? With my man Vaughn. Shout out to Vaughn. He real wavy for real. This little EP we working on. Five songs for real. Other than that, for real, I'm just really giving them straight videos. Like, mm. hard shit though. Like, no average shit. Plots, movies. You get what I'm saying, Lord? Shit to make them all watch it over and over again. Run them views up. You get me? Right. I see a lot of artists getting into like dropping videos. You know, we, um, I think. I don't want to say the baby was one of the first, but we've really seen how he was creative with making his music right. videos, right? And then like you see so many artists, they not waiting no more. Like now, it used to be like I drop a music video now, we wait like a month maybe. Now you see artists dropping music videos back to back to back. Right. Why you think? Why you think it's like that now? I mean, niggas just paying attention. Like, like you gotta pay attention to the niggas that's advanced. You feel me? Or the people that's really elevating in what we doing, cause. Obviously, they doing something right. Not mm -hmm. saying you go copy what they do, but take notes. Like, you ain't right there for, for no mm -hmm. reason. You right. know what I mean? So, how do you, for you as an artist, right, and your creativity, how how do you um, differentiate copying and then taking notes, like you said, right? Because we can be inspired by, by a lot of people, but then sometimes our inspiration, sometimes we, we, we copy not even intentionally. We copy by mistake because that's where we're inspired I don't by. I feel like it's that, for real. Like, me personally, like, I ain't doing no other nigga beat. Mm. Cause okay. Like, how you going? Like me personally, when I do it, it's like it's about the flow. So how I'm going? Like that flow going to be in like you get what I'm saying. So you going naturally? Like me, I, I'm just ain't doing that. I'm just going to try. So it's easy for you. It's I coming out. Like, I, yeah, it's easy for real. Like I ain't gonna say it's easy. Like it depends on my vibe. That shit a vibe. So mm -hmm. how I'm feeling for real. You feel me? Like. Okay. All right. I mean, well, speaking of that, we are gonna get into this music. Hey, let people let let the audience know where they can follow you at. And you everything that you're pushing. You can follow me on Instagram at underscore T dot R dot U dot E underscore. You feel me? Follow me on Twitter at underscore is true. You feel me? Yeah. And that's it. We're about to get to this freestyle already. <laughs> 